My name is Lee Feng Xian Melody, and I am a class of 2022 BFA Fine Arts major at SVA. And today I'm going to show you some of my works, including my portfolio that I submitted during high school and my works throughout the years. So my experience at SVA has been amazing. Uh, my artworks has changed quite a bit. And for, for my high school portfolio, I was making artworks based around a theme and it was about water pollution. I didn't know what I was making during that time. I wasn't that sure. So I had this idea that, you know, as an artist, you have to have a theme and it must be something serious. So I came up with water pollution and I wanted to raise awareness about that. So I made um, a var variety of mediums, ranging from sculpture, from drawings, photography, and animations. So this is one piece, and I do a lot of oil on canvas. And this is a piece of four people gathering around a table having dinner, but they didn't realize that it's actually um, waste products on their dishes. And I also did this photography work for my portfolio when I applied to SVA. Um, it is watercolor and oil under the microscope. And I just want to show the beauty side of it and also the sinister side of, you know, how oil and water can create this such beautiful patterns, but also like pollutes the water. And besides the themed a portfolio. I also included some of, you know, the things that I like, <laughs> and my also a self portrait because I thought that you know when you're submitting your portfolio, you have to prepare a self portrait. So I made this too, um, and a bunch of watercolor. I think that SVA has a great sense of noticing students' work and see the passion in it, and. Yeah, so I came to SVA and I'm very honored. <laughs> um, so these are a few of my freshman works. So during, like being a freshman at SVA, we are required to take uh, foundation courses like visual computing, um, drawing classes, painting classes. And these classes actually help us to build up our skills in color study and uh, drawing perspective and you know making a um, drawing uh, figure in right proportions and these are just one of the examples that I did you know with color study of complementary colors of purple and yellow um, and also a still life and also I did these uh, from Illustrator we're doing this mesh practice and I just want to say that my foundation year really helped me a lot. I never knew how to use Photoshop and Illustrator and coming to SVA, taking the classes helped me a lot. It builds up my skills. So I just want to say to students who are applying to SVA is don't be stressed or discouraged about these drawing skills. Um, you will definitely build up these skills here at SVA. And I think the most important thing when you're submitting your portfolio is to tell SVA who you are um, as a creative person. And many people can draw and paint, but what makes you different is more important. <laughs> so um, when I came to fine arts department, I took a lot of classes. I think fine art department is one of the, you know, places that gives a lot of second chances for students to experiment it's in in many different mediums that you want to try like wood sculpture metal sculpture ceramics um digital sculpture classes um and sewing classes painting classes these are all really amazing class for us so i was able to have the time to take different classes and experiment during my sophomore and junior year i wasn't really thinking about what kind of things or purpose I should have. I feel like a lot of fine art students think that, you know, coming to art school, you have to have your own style. I think that, you know, you will develop your own style by the time around senior year. And for the first three years at SVA, it's for you to explore and experiment. 
and in junior year I was making these paintings. Uh, they're also really flat. I wanted to be more generalized and I wanted to make artworks that is kind of relatable to everyone that some of us might experience. And I was very interested in this flat surface, rear perspective, and having my own narration in my painting. So this is one of the works that I was trying to say that, you know, my kitchen appliances are having their conversation that if I'm cheating on them because I was getting Uber so much, Uber eats so much. Um, this is also another piece of showing different rear perspective of looking at different angles. And I was making these paintings just to, you know, show the color, uh, experiment with perspective and also develop my own characters in it so that when people see it, they recognize that it's me. And my paintings are more, you know, allows the audience to explore what it is. And I put a lot of references to cartoon. Um, all my inspiration comes from a lot of magazines like design magazines, fashion magazines with color. Um, and also cartoons, yeah. And, and later on, I start to develop more gradient and flatness in my work. Um, I think one of, you know, when I was making these very flat surfaces, I don't know how to paint that way until one of the faculty members here suggested me that if I wanted to paint or create a flat surface, um, what mediums I should use. So I just want to say that um, <laughs> the faculty members at the Fine Arts Building gave me a lot of suggestions of what I should use for the materials to make artworks because they're all working artists. So they know um, what kind of you know paint mediums I should use to create the flatness I want. And you know, there's so many different tapes, you know, masking tapes. There's only one particular tape that is actually the best to create straight lines. And I was very interested in the cleanness and straight edges. So it was really useful. Um, and also being here at, as a fine art student, um, we are surrounded by many galleries. So our faculty members will bring us to see different shows or suggest me to see a few shows like artists that is related to my work or I could be inspired from it. And I also start to be interested in gradient and creating artworks that it's flat and has a narration in it. Um, so in my junior year, I was able to take a digital sculpture class and it kind of it made my dream came true because i always you know throughout the years at sva when i was painting i always feel like there's something that is missing and you know taking this class i was able to learn a lot of 3d design softwares like model cinema 4d zbrush sculptures and there's more and I was able to create my illustrations, like my painting characters into, into life. I bring them to a 3D format and then actually make toys, make sculptures out of it for people to, you know, collect or just do whatever they want. Um, so this is a project of making a toy product for my niece for Christmas. And I was able to design everything in, you know, starting from the little grocery products to shelves to characters and then painting them by hand with acrylic and this project really helped me learn about product design because you know if you're making a toy for kids you have to baby proof it and I was able to learn you know research on what kind of um, coats that I could use to apply on it you know, to make sure that the acrylic doesn't come off, it's waterproof, and it's also UV, UV proof and waterproof. And these are just the furnitures that I made through uh, VR, and then 
export them in a uh, you know to a software that could be printable format you know before coming to SVA looking back on my previous works is always based around drawings and paintings and I always had this idea that you know being an artist you have to have one medium style that you focus on but I realized that as a senior now I don't have to do that I can actually work in many mediums of art so I work in painting illustrations digital sculpture and also design I'm very interested in product design and I, I get to learn you know the skills in design through taking continued education courses at SVA I was able to take you know bio art typography um, UX UI and um, risograph and it was really fun to talk with you know faculty members from different departments and yeah so this is what was my current work um, I'm making these I have developed these little characters they are childlike and they're set in a, a, a setting more like a utopian playground where they're doing something that is dark and sinister and I was trying to express this kind of our adult inner darkness onto kids you know because nowadays you know everyone is not that innocent anymore <laughs> so i was trying to say that in the paintings so these this piece i was um, making kind of like after story of the characters in my work it's a little the two kids and one of the kids is stabbing the other and I was very interested in color and gradient of just using gray and red. I want to show the bloody side of things and the beauty of color. And I was like very interested in, you know, 3D sculptures. So I was trying to create a more 3D space here with really clean edges. Um, and my works looks very digitally made is actually painted when you look closely this is a piece that i made uh, recently it's a collectible toy product um, i just want to also bring the characters from my painting from my previous uh, paintings to life and i wanted to create like a toy set where everyone can have and buy and i was I wanted to use my time here because Funners has a lot of good facilities, a lot of digital printing areas where I can make these, you know, plastic toys out and then have to, and also the packaging, like I was able to design my own packaging and then print them out here with really nice paper that is usually very expensive outside uh, if you're trying to get it manufactured. And I also made uh, bigger sculpture pieces of my characters. They're probably this big here over here. Um, and I wanted to kind of show this idea of this can be uh, a sculptural piece, but it's also like a artwork um, for people to buy and have and put in their house. And it's kind of cute and dark in a way. Um, that is entertaining So this is a vinyl sheet sticker that I Created for everyone to take and have fun with it So all these characters are print out on the other side and they could take the thick sticker off and put it in this uh, Setting and do whatever they want. They can write messages um, and I realized that you know everyone has that dark side in them and they totally have fun and they went way beyond what I expected yeah and I feel like being a student at SVA it gives me a lot of freedom to express my artistic practice and just to have fun I find that you know being a fine art, fine art student at the building it's it's, it's like a second home to me 
and I could have a lot of time to fail and then you know experiment and grow before entering into the professional world and I just want to tell people who are applying to SVA um, don't panic and don't be afraid you will definitely grow and improve I never thought of how my artworks would change uh, the style and develop my own style throughout the years so yeah um, good luck and I hope this video is very useful um, thank you and be sure to check out my website and my Instagram bye bye